crafty friends welcome back to the fluid crafter i am dora and today it's going to be a little bit of a different kind of video there's some things that i wanted to show you guys that i finally got and um, let you know what i think about them and um, a couple of other things that i want to talk to you guys about some things that i've created um some projects that i'm working on um so first thing I want to do is I've been talking about this through my videos. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know how much I wanted to get them. And guess what? I got them. <laughs> I got the rip rollers. I have wanted these for so long. These tear rollers are amazing. Of course, along with all the other journalist this is my favorite one the rigged edges like you know where it looks like the paper's been just ripped you know or torn rough old vintage type uh tear and i like the fact that it has the opening in the middle one so you can see the edge of the paper if you're going that far and two because it gives way so you can press down my table is um not level there's a bow in the middle uh, it's an older table so that's nice for me because when I press it down it conforms to my table which is amazing okay so that is also really cool I love we are memory keepers I do they are part of American crafts and they they come out with things that just simplify the crafting life. Um, I think there's maybe only two products that they have that I don't really care for. One was the, um, I do know that they came out with a new and improved one, but the older version, which had the circle at the top, like this, and then it had the different blades, and then it had the, um, the board where you run the blade up and down like this. So it was like a, a circle and then a cutting board and then you could dial turn the dial pick whichever one you wanted you could score perforate cut um, and then do wavy I think or something like that on there but it it never cut straight for me I don't know if it was just the one or the well, I actually ended up taking one back getting a different one and that one didn't cut straight either not really sure um but that one i didn't really care too much for but they do have a new and improved one which i am definitely going to check out when i'm able to um and then the other thing is like i have almost all their punches their punch boards um the only one that i don't really i i, I probably will never buy is the alphabet punch because I don't do letters like that. So, and I'm not a card maker, so eh, it probably won't do me any justice. So, uh, not that I don't like it, just that it's not for me. Um, however, um, I love, 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 love We Are Memory Keepers. Uh, they're right up there with Ranger Inc. I mean, they're like right there, right there side by side. Um, so anyway, so I got those. We are memory keepers, tear rulers. I think they're on Amazon. I think I got them for like 15 bucks, all three of them, which is amazing. And then I finally got a tab punch so I can make my little tabs. Oh, right. I've been wanting one of these forever too. Now this is only the single single top part of the tab this is not the two combined I could not find a two combined tab punch to save my life but this is we are memory keepers tab and it works fine for me absolutely fine for me so you know what I'm digging it I I love I love 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 thank you to my mom for getting these for me and I have a huge circle punch it's like that big right one of those really big circle punches but it's stuck I it won't punch and then when you get it to push down it won't come back up so I don't know what's wrong with it so but anyways I needed a smaller one 
so that I could use for the um, uh, pockets and um, side tucks and things like that. So I got a small one. I got it at Tuesday morning. It was uh, my mom helped me get it. Really, really cool. Now, what I like about this one too is it punches through thick cardstock. And when I say thick cardstock, I mean thick cardstock. I mean you chipboard, uh, thin chip. Well, I don't know about the really thick chipboard stuff, but the um, kind of like cardboard stuff. Yeah, you can punch right through it. It's it's amazing. So. I can do that now, which is totally cool. This is by Fiskars, which is another one of my favorite companies. I love their scissors. Oh my gosh. Every pair of scissors I have is from Fiskars. And then I finally got Butterfly. But not any Butterfly. I got the one that cuts out the, the holes in the wings. Oh my gosh. This is also by Fiskars love it so much it is amazing amazing so i got that one i got it at tuesday morning also i love it so so much and so um those are my thing well okay so another thing that i wanted to speak about is um favorite companies my favorite companies um in case anybody was wondering um some of the things from these companies I can't afford to get right now, uh, but it still doesn't take away from them being my favorite companies. Just because I can't afford to get it doesn't mean that I don't like them. So, uh, Ranger Inc. Ranger, Tim Holtz, um, that, that whole portion of Ranger Inc., Ranger and Tim, um, are, are by far, because I am a huge steampunk grudge um, very, um, earthy type. I love all that stuff. And their inks, their sprays, their distresses, their paper pads, their, um, uh, I, I, I oh my gosh, I, there's just so much. Um, I love it all. Love it, love it all, all of it, because to me it's like really vintage, grungy, steampunky typey, kind of all mixed travel, all mixed in together. Oh God, I love it, love it so much. Um, and one of these days I will work for them, maybe. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be a dream, right? Okay, so anyways, um, so Ranger Inc. Tim Holtz is at the top, and then of course we are memory keepers. We are memory keepers. Like I said, as part of American Crafts. If you don't know too much about American Crafts, American Crafts is what I call an umbrella company. Um, not that that takes away from them because they're amazing. Um, American Crafts is partnered with several, um, several people, several companies. Like we are Memory Keepers and Amy Tangerine are just two. Uh, but there's a whole list. If you go to their website, it will tell you who all they are associated with and who all they're partnered with, who all are a part of American Crafts and their collaboration and all that kind of stuff. So American Crafts and the We Are Memory Keepers section of that is my, my next top company. Um, phenomenal. And then um, next is Fiskars. Of course, I love Fiskars, everything they make. Um, and then my fourth, is that three? One, two, three. Yes, and then four is um, anything made by the Paper Studio, which is a Hobby Lobby company. Um, Hobby Lobby has their own line, which is the Paper Studio. Uh, the Paper Studio doesn't just make paper. They also make punches, boards, they make scissors, they make dies, they make, I mean, just, they have really branched out a lot. Um, so, they are my fourth company. Now, that's not to say that I don't like other companies. That's not to say that I don't like what other companies make or anything like that love graphic 45's papers I love um, 
I, you know, I, and here, you know what? Yeah, I'm just going to say it. Some people might not like me for saying it, but that's okay. I'm just going to say it anyway. Um, there are um, companies that um, do paper pads, and, and, and I'm just getting this ready for in a moment, um, that do paper packs and do accessories and things like that. And I'm sorry, but I just don't see myself paying $40 for a pad of paper. I don't care how good the quality is. I don't care how good the, um, the, uh, how thick the paper is, you know, how good the collage is, how good, you know, the, how good it looks. I, I just can't see myself paying $40 for a paper pad. And some of these paper pads, you only get like 15 sheets of paper, double sided. Yes. But 15 sheets for 40 bucks. I just think it's highway robbery. I personally would rather go on Etsy and get digis. And, and that's just the bottom line. Why? Because there are so many. I mean, you would be blown away by some of the artists on, on Etsy who do digital collaging or digital papers. One of my, two of my favorites are uh, Antique Papery. Oh, Lord have mercy. Let me just tell you the quality and the... Um, I'm amazed, you know, and it's affordable, which is wonderful. Also, Antique Papery. Her name is Sherry. Uh, check her out if you um, if you want to try something different, or if you want to maybe do a mixture of you know a journal with different mixtures of papers. Perfect. I'm telling you, perfect. And then um, my um, What was I going to say? I lost my whole train of thought. Ah. Um, I had another Etsy shop in my head, and now I have um, lost it out of my brain. Okay, we'll come back to it if I remember. Anyway, so... I have been trying to do my own. As you, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you know that I have been venturing out and trying my own. Um, sorry, I hit the camera. My own collaging. And so, when I first started, uh, I was doing napkins because I thought, you know, hey. Mm. But then I read on some of the napkins that you could not use them. You could use it for your personal use, but you couldn't use them to sell or anything like that. So that was kind of bumming. Um, <laughs> but uh, so then I thought, okay, well, let me see if I can get a digital program that maybe could show me or teach me how to kind of do some of these things with uh, public domain photos or just, you know, test the waters for myself just to see if I could even do it. And so my first one, it's okay, it's not the greatest, but this is what I came up with. Very fall, orangish, reddish type um, little journaling card. That's all it is. The flowers and little wreaths, little flower bouquets, some mushrooms, and then in the background is like leaves. But it did come out a little more orangish than I wanted it to. So, then I did another one, <laughs> and I thought, let me try to see if I can dim that down. It's a little bit better, right? So, you have the tree in the background, and then you have a little butterfly here. You have a little bird's nest that I put over here, and then around the bottom here is butterflies and uh, um, flowers, and then over here is a partial of a tree with two birds. So you can see that it's okay. It's not it's not the best, but it is okay. It came out pretty good for second try, right? Okay, so then, then, my favorite, then it dawned on me what I was doing wrong. It dawned on me. So look at this. <laughs> Isn't that so pretty, right? It is so pretty. Okay, so. Um, there's uh, flower 
There's a little bird. The woman in the middle holding a big bouquet of flowers and two black and white flower pots down here with America the Beautiful over the top. So I'll bring that up just so you guys can see. Turned out really well. Um, okay, so this time what I did is I used the girl first as the background. And then I added to the girl. And then I put the... Um, the music on top so that way you could see the music more clearly whereas on this one yes you can see it but some of the lines are faint this one here same thing you can still see the background but the lines become faint so I wanted this to be very distinct I wanted it to really stand out like she was behind um, the image was behind the music so I thought that came out pretty well I thought it came out pretty well. So that's my other announcement. I'm trying to do maybe journal cards or tags or something like that. Don't think I could do a whole journaling kit. Um, probably wait till later. Um, but right now I'm just kind of getting my fingers wet, you know, seeing if I can do any of that stuff. Um, okay, so my next announcement is I know a lot of people um, have sent me emails and have sent me. Um, messages asking me uh, what do I mean by um, public domain or copyright free images and where they can find them I've mentioned them before but um, there's two places that you can go if you see something that says free download doesn't necessarily mean that it's a public domain image it could just be someone that created something and is giving it away for free for personal use so please be sure to read what they say about that image and how you can use it, okay? I'm just saying. Um, I have fallen into that trap when I first started years and years ago. I just assumed it was free. Okay, fine, I can use it. No, that's not always the case. So please make sure you read. Um, however, the New York Public Library has a huge, huge, extensive gallery also the library of congress has a phenomenal gallery now their photos are all have all been enhanced the best that they could and they've uploaded the images uploaded the text documents letters envelopes postcards i mean you name it it's there so those two places um are are probably going to be your best bet um because i mean you could get lost in there for days kind of like we do on pinterest or Instagram right I get lost on Pinterest too um, so that is my other thing that I wanted to mention um, my last thing that I wanted to say let me grab a cup uh, drink coffee okay so the last thing that I wanted to say is um, if there is something that you guys would like to see me do, uh, if you want to, if you want to see more mixed media, if you want to see more journaling pages, more collaging, more informative, more reviews, more anything like that, um, please comment down below and let me know. Uh, right now, I'm just kind of doing my daily things with you guys. Uh, this is more of a chit chat, show you what I got type video, but that's okay. Um, so yeah and you know make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so you can be uh, notified of any new videos that i post up um my email is the fluidcrafter at gmail.com and i will put that in there if you don't want to comment below if you want to send me an email privately you're also more than welcome to do that uh, but yeah just kind of let me know what you guys are thinking and i'm going to do a demonstration real quick and then that'll be it so let me just grab out the travel paper I was using earlier. And so I'm just going to do a quick looky, looky what I can do. So the circle, of course, most of you know you could punch out the circle, right? But I got it for that purpose. For the half circle.
for the envelopes and pouches and things like that. So you can see, cuts wonderful. This is Fiskars. The other Fiskars that I got was the Butterfly. Love this so much. I mean, it is amazing. And did it get stuck in there? There it is. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. I've been wanting a punch for these little butterflies forever. Forever. I have a tiny, tiny butterfly punch, but uh, it's really, really small. So, and I do use it. Um, not, <clears throat> not as much as I do this one, but that's okay. So we have those two. And then our tab. This here has a catcher on the bottom, which is fabulous. So I can do one, two, do I have enough over there? I don't think I do. Three, four. So that would be two tabs when I put them together. And they're right there. All right there in the bottom. They're not dropping out anywhere. Which is perfect, right? Yeah. See? Wonderful. Love it. So I'll put those over there. And then, actually, let me move these this away so I can have room. And then we have our rulers. And yes, they do work. I tested them already, but I'll just show you my two, my, my favorite one. The other ones also work the same way. So they send you this water pen, which I will use for other purposes. You pretty much just put water in here. You follow down and you get it wet so that way it's easier to rip. I don't, I, I, uh. napkins. Yes, totally can see that. But for this, you just pull it up. Move your fingers down, pull it up, and then you get this rough ridge, ridge around the edge, and I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Um, let me put it around the back side of this, maybe you can see it. Oh, well you can see the white, there you go. So you can see this ridge right here against that edge, which is amazing. So there's that one, and I also like this side. For ripped papers, especially when you're doing a re one that's supposed to be a really old vintage style. And something else I figured out along the way. I'll put that back on the back so you can see both the white and the colored side. So you can see, that's super cool, right? Now, so these were like this, right? Okay. You know how when you tear paper, you tear it a certain way for the white to be up or the white to be down? Same way with the ruler, okay? So this has the white on top. This was what's under the ruler. So whatever's under the ruler is gonna have the white on top. Whatever's, whatever you're pulling up or you're ripping off will not have the white showing. Just an FYI for future reference. So as you can see, the rulers do work. I would demonstrate the other ones, but we won't do that. I've already demonstrated them and they work absolutely amazing. And, um, Another score that I found, I found this at a thrift store. Um, this is by uh, these were done in 2003 and it just says explore travel pixie travel Use these pixie expressions to add positive sentiments to your cards, scrapbook pages, and other art projects. PSX. So, I don't know if it's pixie expressions, but these were in a thrift store in a box 
full of a bunch of stamps, which are some that I'm trying to destash. But Passport to Adventure, Sail Away, World Traveler, Destination Unknown, Trek, Travel, Support, Trust, Explore, Escape, and Laugh. Right? Travel stamps. Oh, amazing. Actual travel, not just, you know, like these, you know, little stamp blocks and stuff. And I also got one of those. Love it. Okay, so um, don't forget to watch my destashing videos. I, I, I need to get rid of this stuff. And like I said, just email me, and I'll put it up here so you guys can see it again. Just email me if you're interested in anything that I had put up there, the lot number, and we can negotiate a price on it. So um, that's it for today, guys, or for this video. I will be back a little bit later, I'm sure, uh, with some more projects and maybe some more crafting. Um, but for now, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys will check out Memory Keepers, Fiskars, and Ranger Inc. And who knows? Life happens, right? All right, guys. Stay creative. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.